I can't believe my car died again! It's a good thing my dad taught me the basics of maintaining a car. And that is why I have my jumper cables right here. I got these for $17 on Amazon. Now this can be very dangerous. You should always make sure that both cars are turned off and you should always have your spotter there with you. Luckily I have my partner here, John, to help me with the process. Now like I said this before, this can be very dangerous, so pay attention. This is negative and this is positive. The colored ones are always positive, the black is always negative. Now this can be very dangerous, like I said, so they, what they say to do, according to Pet Boys, is to hook it up to the, the starting car first, and then hook it up to the frame of the dead battery, the frame of the car to the dead battery, because it gets the stimulants flowing. It gets the electricity flowing between the batteries and the car if you hook it up to the live battery first, and then the frame of the car. Now, according to Pet Boys, you should do that for safety reasons, but not a lot of people do that, it doesn't really matter. It's proven that it doesn't matter. And according to Harvard studies, only one in every 6,700 people get injured or die from this. So it's not that big of a deal to hook it up to the frame of the car. It's usually just live battery first to dead battery. Finally, we can get this baby started up. Okay, first, negative. Always negative first, otherwise you'll shock yourself. So get that on there. And then positive is next. It's important to know that you should never touch the wires together after they are hooked up to a live battery because never you ever. shock yourself. Next we come over to the dead battery. Now sometimes the layout of a car is different. The battery is kind of hard to find. Fortunately, like my nice Japanese car and this nice gentleman's American truck, it's nice and easy to find. Unlike BMWs and such like that. Okay, so like I said before, negative first, black, positive second. Now I know that this is red right here on my battery, but it's always colors. It's either red or yellow every time. So just know that the color goes on color, black goes on black. All right, so now that we have both batteries hooked up to each other, they're sort of feeling each other out. They can feel each other now, and now the only process to do is to start it. Let's give it a try. Woo! And that is how you jump start a car, baby! Whoa! Let's hit the road! Not ready. 